Speaking of Godspeed and good luck, Dr. Disrespect is looking for a co-owner and studio head for a game studio, Mr. Black. He's had enough of all these fucking not violent speed and momentum based video games. It's not enough. He needs more ponytails, more greased back hair and Lamborghinis from the 80s. He needs more of that. And he needs it in a video game. All of a sudden, my fucking Google page just totally died. Please tell me. Okay, good. We're back. Uh, <coughs> so he's looking for a studio head and co-owner. So he's recognizing that he is not going to be heading this bitch up by himself. He, uh, he does have industry experience. He, was, he designed, I believe, like roughly half of the maps for Call of Duty and Infinity War, I think was the title that he was on. So he has multiplayer shooter map design experience and a fairly significant amount of it. So, uh, and he's shown in other smaller games that have come up that have let him, like he's designed maps and whatnot in, in the last couple of years. So, uh, he's looking for somebody to head that bitch up and then he wants to work with himself and other influencers in the space that he knows that are big into the probably first person shooter multiplayer market to make their dream game. Um, and so obviously a lot of industry people have had a lot to say about this. Uh, and by that, I mean, they're all going, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Uh, this is never going to work. This is a joke. Who is this guy? Why is he doing this? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And while I totally get the sentiment, uh, because nobody likes to hear about influencers and, and content creators getting into any space and trying their their thing in it, I don't know why they're poo pooing it so much. Because for years, people have been saying, you know, you, all these great ideas for games and stuff, and none, none of it ever happens. And then the industry folks tell you why it never happens. Uh, and now here's their opportunity to be able to say, "I told you so." If anything, they should be thrilled. Because yeah, if this bombs, just, yeah, then they go, hey, looks, hey, listen, uh, the game, the, the these companies, they've been saying uh, under their breath or f straight up to people, you think you can do better? Go fucking make a game. Well, Dr. and now he's here. Is going. I'm gonna go and try and make a game. If it fails, okay. If it doesn't and it's successful, then it's a big fuck you. And he gets, he's probably gets to do something he's always dreamed about doing. He's in a financial position. He has all the influence in the world. Go follow your dreams. Go make a game. And all of his buddies, he's well-connected. It will get played, and it will probably do better than the vast majority of these indie games that come out. Is it going to be a Call of Duty le level? No, it probably won't. But it, it can definitely make a splash, and who knows? It might be a big thing, or it might fall flat on its face. All the power to him. Go do your thing. Well, that's just God it. Speed. Uh, that's just it. I was so confused. I saw a lot of people just like shitting on it. And I was like, man, like this is your time. This is where, this is where you get to say, I told you so. So yeah. just, why would you open your mouth, shut your mouth, let it happen. Yeah, and then, and, and then have a, a little, a little, I told you so moment. Well, unfortunately, now that you want to open your mouth, if on the small chance he pulls this bitch off. Yeah. You're he's fucked. Gonna, he, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna call you out. He's gonna say, I made a better game. He's gonna troll you, and everybody else is gonna troll you. And yeah, it'll be fun. You're gonna hate your life. You're gonna, it's yeah. gonna be a terrible choice. And then and then they'll probably, you know, they'll make a bunch of excuses for why it was successful. Uh and then the irony will be, well, then if that was that if it was that easy, why don't you go do it? Yep. <laughs> Throwing it back in their face. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if he even finds somebody. Uh, and to make it work, uh, the only reason I think this has a hope in hell is because, one, obviously his status in the community, he has, whether you like his character or not, he has a shitload of people following him, uh, and will follow him anywhere he goes. So that's just a given. If he can get the right team together, it'll work to a degree. Yeah. It just will. It just He's will. got experience. He's literally yeah. designed shit. Yeah. Like, this is not like me. Yeah. I have zero yeah. design experience going to a game going, you know, people have asked on, asked on Patreon, wait, what's your dream game? Like I fucking know, this guy's at least worked in the industry. People, they'll rally behind him, and 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 that's that, you know. And the thing is, is even if the game is okay, um, people will pretend it's amazing, and it's like, hey, it's his first thing. The next time, we'll see what you know. They'll they'll spin this in a way that it'll be a win. The question is, will he actually get there? Right? Will he get the right team? Will he go the whole distance? Will he follow through? Or will this just kind of fall flat and then he'll move on to something else? We'll, we'll find out. We're going to find out time. next time on Dragon Ball Z.